Art for me and culture is at the heart of society. It's the place in which people come together and find commonality. They can see something in another person from a different background and recognize a common humanity. My name is Michael Armitage. I'm a painter, sculptor, and the founder of the Nairobi Contemporary Arts Institute. In my practice, I often look at socio-political issues in East Africa, and this really came out of a question for me fundamentally of relevance. I was at a point in my practice where I was questioning all aspects of what I was doing. I was questioning the material I was working on. I was questioning whether or not to work in abstract or figurative means. And fundamentally, I was also questioning who my audience was. For me, my first audience would be a Kenyan audience. And I was thinking that if I had to do an exhibition in Kenya, I wanted anyone who walked off the streets to walk into the gallery or whatever space it was that my work was showing in and see something that they recognized and that was relevant to them and their lives. And through that, I decided that the most effective way that I could work would be in figurative means. I try not to be too defined and prescriptive over the type of subjects that I will engage with and research and find interesting. Often they're, they're positions that I don't myself have a clear sort of moral attitude on. They're, they're points of contention. Very regularly there'll be things that happen within the socio-political sphere that have an impact on and change my thinking, they change my work. Or it was within the kind of political spheres of the 2007-2008 political violence that we had um, in the post-election violence from our elections then. I was quite taken, taken aback by the international pressure on local media to perform in a certain way, in a way that they felt was right. And they described the local media as falling into what they said was a peace coma, meaning that in order for peace to prevail, they were in a coma about all the political situations that were going around and weren't reporting on them. Very often I'm asked about the stereotypes that my work is dealing with. Fundamentally, stereotypes are problematic. It's what makes it easier for people to look at migrants crossing, crossing into Europe and dismiss them, to look at refugees and dismiss them, because they fulfill some sort of cultural stereotype, a level of othering. When I was setting out the conceptual cornerstones of my practice once again, I was questioning the use of a canvas. I was questioning it because it would then locate my work within specific histories. I came across this material called um, Lubuga bark cloth, which is a Baganda cloth. It's largely used as a funerary cloth. And this was interesting to me because it was or where I found it was in a local tourist market in Nairobi. That displacement, the displacement of culture, the total loss of function and meaning, and the repackaging and representation of that was something that had parallels with different elements of culture here and different pressures of the tourist industry on aspects of culture in Kenya that were interesting to me. In 2016, in the lead up to an event called The Gathering, we were talking to artists and art practitioners in Nairobi, asking them what are the things that they felt like we most needed to help and grow the art scene in the region. Almost everybody said that we needed a different form of higher education and we needed a space that was a not-for-profit art space for showing work, something outside of the commercial sector. So NKAI, which stands for the Nairobi Contemporary Arts Institute, is based in Nairobi. I would say, at the, again, at the heart of what we are doing is the arts community here. There is a phenomenal amount of space for arts organizations to take up, and that's simply because there are aspects of the art that need more support. 